Uh, hi, I'm Claude from the South. Attack helicopters! Go, go, go! And this is my poem names. I have a slight trigger warning for um, violent and uh, transphobic content. How can you bathe in our blood and forget the scent? Blood of the trans populace pools at your feet and yet you claim you can't see it. How can you... Oh. Hold up. How much hate can you have? You may not have been the one to kill us, but you're the environment that allowed it to happen. It could have been anyone holding the weapon, but nobody would care. It's not like you'd be charged anyway. Don't forget our names. Ali Steinfeld, 17, killed five months after coming on Instagram, eyes gouged out, genital stab, bones put in bag and burnt. Did the acrid scent of her remains bother you? Did it overpower yours? Kenneth Bostick. 59, homeless. Beat to death with a metal pipe, lied there for half an hour before anyone bothered to help. I wonder if anyone passed by before that. If they do, do they feel regret? Was it just another body for them? Do they even care? Did the blood even phase them? Don't you dare look away and forget their names. Sean Hake, Kiri Herring, Scout Schultz, killed by the police. Rita Hester, Mesha Caldwell, Ina Gibson, Sierra McElveen, Abe Larray gave the gift. Um, uh, um, Jojo Stryker, Jamie Lee, Tierra Richmond, I could go on. We are shut down by the trans panic defense. You killed them because their genitalia didn't match what you expected. The murderer of Islam Nettles claimed he had nothing against trans people. He just didn't want to be fooled. Aw, the entire little dude thought his expectations mattered. In the same way, you probably kill people for sneaking up on you, for giving you a surprise birthday party. As if the mere existence of being trans and other is worthy of a death sentence, as if you're so entitled to your expectations that anything else leads to death, as if her genitalia was any of your business, as if you have the authority to police someone's existence yet. You weren't charged with a hate crime. You were just shocked. You were put in a blind fury. You were reasonable when you were a reasonable person when you rammed your head into a pavement. Let let her to put put her in a coma until she was taken off life support. How long does it take to get so used to the stench of our blood that you can delude yourself to pretend it's not there? That we're asking for too much when we beg for you not to kill us. We're so marginalized that people ever hear about us. Heck, I didn't hear about half these people until recently. We're so marginalized that the media doesn't care. It just dismisses us. I wonder that if in their last moments they knew that nobody cared. I wonder if somebody cared. I wonder if I'll be next and I live in fear. How long does it get so used to our blood that you can pretend doesn't exist? Is it fun to play judge, jury, and executioner? Guilty, guilty, dead. Don't close your eyes to this violence. Don't forget our names. You let this happen. Your silence, your complacence, let this happen. Don't forget our names. Um, hold up. Don't wash your hands at this and walk away. Don't forget our names.